What's up everyone? Today's video is part two of the hippopotamus ring and as I promised in part one, we're going to be engraving it. So I've got this micro motor here. Shout out to Alex Still for enlightening me to these. I've got uh, some engraving bits and this micro motor. This is gonna make the job way, way easier than if I just had like a standard Dremel to work with. And then I've got a whole story that I want to engrave on it. I wanted to pick a theme that would match the theme of the actual ring itself. And I wanted to have a story that was kind of cool enough to make it worth engraving. So the story I picked is actually the Egyptian Hall of Two Truths story. It's the very common Egyptian afterlife story. And what I've done is I've broken the entire story down into just six symbols that I think I can engrave. I tried to simplify as much as possible here. So the first symbol, that's where it starts out with, it's a skull. That is to represent that the individual has died and that they are now in the Hall of Two Truths, which is the name of the story. And that's where they go to be judged. And then the next symbol that I'm going to engrave is an eye, and that is to represent Anubis. And he is your companion. He is leading you to this scale. And at the scale, you're getting your heart weighed against an ostrich feather to determine if you are worthy of passing on into the field of reeds or if your soul is going to be destroyed. And then the next one up, that is the scale that I just referenced earlier. On the scale, you've got your heart on one side as well as the ostrich feather. The heart you'll notice is the Egyptian symbol for the heart. It's not like the emoji shaped heart and it's not an anatomical looking heart. It's that Egyptian symbol for it. I thought that would be fitting. And then the feather, that's just a straightforward looking feather. And then the next symbol that I chose is kind of the most significant one in my opinion, based on the fact that we're using a hippo tooth and that is going to be a hippo. And the reason for that is because Amit, who is actually a combination of several different animals, a hippo being part of it, for the sake of simplicity, I simplified it to just the hippo. And what he does is after the scale is weighed and if your heart is heavier than the feather, meaning that your heart is heavy with uh, guilt and bad conscience, then he is going to devour your heart and you're destroyed instantly and you're gone. So it's really hardcore, really intense. But if your heart is lighter than the feather, then you're going to be able to proceed to the afterlife. And that's where the next symbols come into play where you've got Osiris, who is the king of the underworld. He is on a throne. And so to symbolize that, I've got uh, a crown symbol for that. And then the last and final symbol is the lotus leaf. And that is symbolic of the field of reeds, which is where you'll go in the afterlife if your heart is pure. I wanted you guys to be able to understand what's going on here because I put a lot of time and effort into the whole story and backstory of it all, and I want it to make a lot more sense to you guys. So there's an explanation of it all. I'm really excited to go ahead and get engraving. I think it's going to look really cool. And then last but not least, I know I said this in part one, but I wanted to reiterate this because I think it's very important. This hippo tooth was both legally and ethically sourced. What we're going to do now, if you missed part one, I'm gonna show just a really fast montage of the first part of this video to catch all of you guys up to speed. If you've already seen part one, you can skip to this point in the timeline and it'll just get you right into the engraving. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get engraving.
right guys, the ring is finished. I am so stoked with the way this turned out. There's a ton of prep work involved and the engraving itself was a lot of work. So really happy that it turned out nicely. Let's just go over the story one last time real quick. So you've got the skull representing the fact that you have died. You're in the Hall of Two Truths. You are then escorted to the scale. You've got the ostrich feather on the one side, the heart on the other. Look how teeny that heart symbol was. I was able to make it look pretty nice actually. And if your heart is heavier than the feather, meaning you have a guilty conscience, it'll be eaten by the hippo. If it's not, you'll be granted into the kingdom of Osiris. So there's the crown there. I even put a little snake on the crown and uh, the lotus blossom to represent Osiris's kingdom. So that's the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. This was a fun one. Really like the story that this ring has behind it. And just all the hours and effort I put into it, I think really paid off. So if you enjoyed the video, be sure to subscribe. You can like the video, leave feedback in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next week.